the thing that stood out to me the most when watching his film was, and if you go back like 18 months ish, I saw some reports set calling like, Oh, he's a six, seven, six, eight wing. Right. And when you watch him now, and he's called a six ten center or six nine power forward or whatever he is. You can see very much that well, he looks like a guy who was a wing a year and a half or two years ago. Right? Like the thing that stands out the most about him is when he puts the ball on the deck and has that first step between having a legitimately quick first step for a guy that big, but also having his length. I mean, he does he covers a lot of ground when he makes that first move to the basket and he goes by guys like legitimate and he handles the ball well so it's like he can go by you with a couple dribbles but he can also take a couple dribbles get you moving and if you're a guy that can't change directions quickly he can step back on you he can cross over and and go to the other side like i mean he's got a lot of stuff to his game for a guy who's as tall as he is and has some of the skill that he has so then you, you the, like the the european skill thing is there the the type of uh, stereotype we place on all of these international transfers coming over from Europe. He has, he can stretch the floor a little bit. He can shoot it. He's comfortable with the ball in his hands. He understands how to play a little bit, but then you go a little, another step or two farther than that. It's like, okay, that first step is interesting because it shows a little athleticism. He does dunk the ball a little bit around the rim and shows uh, not, he's not a leaper, but he's got some athleticism around the basket. Then one of the other things that was a little more subtle that it took me a while to find as I was watching this film there was a play where he's trying to post a smaller guy up. I think it was uh, the Japan game in the U-19 World Cup. Japan, Trying yeah. to post a smaller guy up who's battling. He doesn't get the ball. Ball goes to the opposite corner. Guy's about to shoot it from the opposite corner. And he just takes that guy who had gotten on the wrong side of him and just, just cards him with a nice little forearm, throws him out of bounds, grabs the rebound, gets an and one. That's the type of stuff, especially if we're going to talk about like European international big man stereotypes where it's usually like not the toughest guys in the world, skilled, want to stretch you don't want to play inside those are the types of little subtle things that i want to see do you have some stuff to you we'll put for it for a nice term we usually use a different term in the states here but uh do you have some stuff to your game and the other thing that i saw a couple times where like where he's got positioning and and maybe maybe the defender gets on the high side of him so you can't get the ball into him on a direct pass from the wing or from the top of the key well he'll he's fine with that okay you're on the high side of me great let me roll my hips a little bit, carve out some space, ride you up the lane, and then I'm going to catch this pass over the top for like a high-low action and then lay it in because he's got the length and, again, a little bit of athleticism to go up and get the ball over top of someone. And if he needs to use a little forearm to shove you out while he's, you know, like a wide receiver going up for a ball in the end zone on the fade route, like he's got that stuff. He's got the subtle pushes and shoves and, and toughness to get away with some of those things to clear some space and score around the basket. Those are some of the things that started getting me even more excited about his game. It's like, okay, yeah, the, the highlight three, the highlight drive past a guy and dunk is really cool on film. But some of the other little things makes me think he can really fit in well with the way Sean Miller wants his bigs to play. Yeah. It, it's funny when you watch European style basketball like that, and you see the really tall, lanky big man, where you think of like a Victor Wembanyama, right? Where the guys are, they're so tall and they kind of lumber up and down the court and they don't look the most coordinated. But then all of a sudden they do some, whether it's a dunk, whether they're just getting out in transition, whether it's two dribbles from mid court because that's just how long their legs are. And then all of a sudden they pull up from three. They just do things and operate differently than you normally see in the United States. But then when it comes over here and you're, you're thinking to yourself, okay, how does that translate? it generally for the most part can translate pretty well and there's a reason that these guys end up coming over here and having as much success as they do and why guys like david miller and sean miller want to go recruit 